four. YouTube is better. I love YouTube, so don't get me wrong. But I don't think it's better to do what we're doing here, which is storytelling and communicating. And I'll tell you why. It's because if you go to YouTube, you're going to have your ass handed to you by some 13-year-old kid. And I say that because I've got a 13-year-old kid in my house. And I know that he will work day and night, weekends, on producing and editing one video. And he'll get more likes than you could ever hope for hiring that from a social media agency. And there are a lot of 13-year-old kids out there, and they're relentless. So you can't compete against them. So if you're a brand looking for brand authority or to communicate your new product range, or you are looking to recruit talent or retain your talent and tell stories about your ecosystem, there may be better ways. Because what the 13-year-old kid can't do is have a conversation with somebody with meaning because they don't have a depth of experience. You've got 20, 25 years experience in your field, use it. If you take that to YouTube, you're gonna get your ass kicked. But you have a podcast conversation with somebody, that's what my 13 year old son can't do. And that is the sweet spot for you. And that is why you should consider podcasting and not YouTube. But don't get me wrong. Don't ignore YouTube. Record the video as well and push it out on YouTube because YouTube is fantastic for discovery. But don't forget, it's all about storytelling and audio and video 